what's up this crew how y'all doing on this tuesday afternoon it just said 12 o'clock yeah well i don't know why i say yay but anyways <sighs> tomorrow's the day movers are coming in i got to really today i have to buckle down and get the rest of this stuff packed and put into the living room move my dressers into there i couldn't find those little moving things that i was looking for at um dollar tree i was gonna go to family dollar but y'all yesterday my battery light came on i have to get a new battery i just got a new battery when i was in mississippi in december before that i had a battery i got the <laughs> i got my battery done march 2021 December 2021 and now I have to get another battery <sighs> So and it's like I went to AutoZone where I got my battery from she's gonna tell me and She's gonna tell me I have to buy another battery And then um Give them my old battery like I have to get a buy another battery, get a another warranty. Some she said, but I was like, um, but I have a warranty already on this battery. Why do I need to buy another battery just to get this battery? So I was, so I asked. I was like, so if I buy another battery, am I gonna get a refund back and not just a core money back because you you pay for it and then you bring in your old battery, you get that core whatever back. No, you need to refund me everything or give me a free battery. That's what the warranty is for. But I can't get the warranty for the battery without taking the battery out and bringing it to them. My battery is underneath my tire. Yeah. So, I, I'm a, I have um, a little jumper thing if I need to jump my car. But I, I don't I don't have time for this right now. Like tomorrow movers are coming. Um so today I just have to buckle down and just get everything done. I do have to go out and go to the post office to send out this Poshmark, but I'm not trying to drive my car like that. And then after that, after the fifteenth, the sixteenth, I got a doctor's appointment, eight o'clock in the morning. <sighs> So probably after I do that, I can go check on my car. Everything is pretty much within, you know, a couple of miles of each other. But I don't want my car to, you know, break down while I'm at either one of those places, not in this heat. So um, I'm glad it happened before I got on the road, but it's like, oh my God. I mean, I saved up for the moving. So I had already been putting in, uh, you know, a savings just for moving. So I have the money. I have the money for it, but it's just like uh, the day comes when you have to dip into that money that you actually saved for moving. It's like, nah. <laughs> this is, uh, I knew it was going to, I mean, you know, moving is a lot. It's a lot of stress. It's a lot. If you're doing it by yourself. Shit, even if you're doing it with somebody else. It's a lot of stress for all the both of y'all packing this shit. But anyways. Um, this medicine is making my stomach hurt. I stopped taking it. I took it um, from the time I got it to Sunday was my last day. Um, I'm going to talk to her when I get in there. See, maybe I can get a lower dose. Because, it, listen my blood pressure medicine is only five milligrams right before that i was taking before yeah before i was taking five milligrams i had to break it at, uh, apart so that's what 2.5 milligrams of blood pressure medicine this lady gave me a hundred milligrams of this medicine that i was supposed to take twice a day so you giving me 200 milligrams that i have to take a day that's 40, I did the math, <laughs> that's 40 times 
the medication I'm taking for my blood pressure. It's like, my body is like, bitch, what is you doing? I mean, I understand we was in, you know, we had a little this, but you trying to kill us. And it was, it was really, it is really made my stomach hurt. Um, I don't eat enough food to su sustain, sustain, yeah, sustain the uh, medicine. So it's just eating, it's eating my stomach up. I got some corn dog, well, some breakfast <sighs> pancake on the stick in a microwave now that I'm about to eat because my stomach is hurting. That medicine is still in my system because I can see when I use the bathroom, they said it's gonna change the color of my whatever. But uh, I'll be telling y'all everything. <laughs> I do. I don't be having nobody to talk to. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring all the stuff that I'm going to take with me out the living room in here. And so I can just start moving all that. So I can have room to move all the other stuff in the living room. Uh, so, yeah, that's what we're doing today. And then later, I think maybe around 3 or 4, before the post office closed, I'll go up there, but, uh, <laughs> and then I just gotta go through all this shit. Uh, oh, the boxes I got from, the boxes I got from, um, Office Depot, they look like this. You have to, um, uh, build it pretty much. So I got five, I think it's five boxes. Oh, yeah. A five pack of these boxes but then you know they have the instructions in on there on how to put it together so they came flat and then you just follow the instructions and so I'm gonna fill up as much of whatever I can fill in here to take with me in this I'll do it y'all know what I'm trying to say right uh -huh. it didn't come off right but Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna put some clothes on. My stomach hurts so bad. I'm gonna go eat and I will talk to y'all when I'm done. Or, you know what I'm saying. Hey, what is up, Juice Crew? How are y'all doing on this Wednesday morning? I am up extra early because the movers are supposed to be coming around 9. So I had to get up, put some clothes on, and yeah. I'm so excited. Um, what was I about to say? Nothing. It may be a little hectic, so I don't know if I'm actually gonna record anything because um they're gonna be moving. And not that I need to direct them, but I need to tell them what not to take because um, I haven't packed that part up and it's not going with them anyway. It's going with me. Um, so the moves are here. I have to talk up because I got the door open. I don't know when they're going to come in, but the moves are here. They're moving my chair. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, just want to come and say that they're moving. And it should be done by. Let me go see how much stuff we got left. Y'all peek for me. Oh. We got up. They got a little bit. I think they got my couch out and all this stuff, but they got the majority of it. Majority of the heavy stuff out, so. Yeah. Okay, so we're at the storage. That's all my stuff back there. Whew. I don't know, this may take a little bit longer. Ooh, maybe if I get the dollies ready for them. 
I'm trying to help. I'm trying to make the thing go by faster. Yeah, get a couple of dollies ready for them so when they come back. There you go, dolly right there. Hmm. My job is done. <sighs> Y'all, I'm only a couple of more. Well, no, today's the 15th. So, what? Another 15 more days? And we'll be gone. So excited, oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of those micromanaged people. Um, that's why I can't be doing that. I can't be, I'll try to sit in my car. He knows where my storage unit is at, so I'm probably just gonna, well, no. Cause every time they go in, I have to put in my code. So, hmm. Cause I was just gonna sit in my car and not watch them because do this, do this, do this. <laughs> no, ma'am. This is not your job. You are not getting paid for this. So I'm a copper squad on my own little chill. My own, uh, whatever. And chill back here and wait till they are done. Okay, so now I'm at the speedy day. What is this called? I don't know. Speedy somebody. Get in my battery. <sighs> what seems like I'm going to have to get a battery every six months. Because that's about as long as my battery is going to last in my car. And then I can't get a bigger battery because um, what where the housing of that battery is only big for that battery. At least I got a warranty on it. At least they will just, you know, exchange it for another battery and all that stuff. They normally don't do that here, so don't come up here and be like, uh, I need you to change my battery out and all that good stuff. Because all they do is they'll take they'll take their own battery that they have and put it in there instead of like what I'm doing. But they're just being nice to me today. And I think because there's not too many people here. Y'all can't really see. She's, oh, there she is on a dirty butt. She all up in the air. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, they're going to do it for me for $75. Yeah, they got to make their money too, I'm sure. Um, but we all are moved out. Well, most of the stuff is moved out. Um, I just have to... You know, y'all seen that stuff. You'll see what's left. I only got like little bitty stuff, like little decorative stuff to do. And um, just stuff that I, I'm thinking about bringing with me or not really bringing with me. But I don't know. I just got to look through a whole bunch of stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, um, I like I rid of my bar stools. I asked uh, one of them um, if they needed some bar stools because I don't need them bar stools. I could have sold them, but I only got them for like forty dollars, I think, from um, TJ Maxx Marshall. One of those. I got it from one of them. But anyways, I was trying to also get rid of that oil press that I had because I'm not going to do nothing with that oil press. <laughs> Whatever. He didn't want it. So, Ooh, can I make it into a juicer? I don't know. But <laughs> anyway, so I'm just here. I'm just waiting to all the zone. Bring bring my new batteries to them and then I can be back to the house uh, chilling yeah oh y'all it is coming it's coming 
we're almost out of here. We're almost out of here. Yeah. All right, y'all. Let me let me sit in this nice cool weather. I mean, underneath this night, whatever. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. And uh, wait for them to bring me my battery. It shouldn't take long. AutoZone is right across the street. Look like down just walking distance, but I am about to walk too. Let me see if I can show y'all. <sighs> yes, I can. Auto's on. So. <laughs> All right, close back now. How do I get you to come back? Okay. So yeah, so Auto's on isn't too far away. So it shouldn't take that long to do. Okay, y'all, let me go. <laughs> and right when I said it, Auto's on man pulled up. Right when I said it shouldn't take long, he pulled up. <laughs> y'all, when it rains, it pours. Y'all, have y'all heard of that before? When it rains, it pours. So <laughs> when you think you have something fixed, right? Something else happens, or you know, you think you had something done, and then something else happens. So I got my battery done. Right, right. Come to AutoZone to have them. God, these motherfuckers can drive. Okay, so anyways, had them come. Crash. Okay, so anyways. Come back to AutoZone to give them the battery, right? How about the battery light comes on again? So, I'm back in the house. So, what the issue is now, here's my alternator. The alternator is overcharging the battery. The battery they say or whatever the charge is supposed to be um i think like 12 between 12 and 14 voltage it is at 16. I'm not, I'm not superstitious. I don't know if it's superstitious or whatever. No, I am superstitious. Stop lying. Because I don't do that. Uh, if there's two people and there's a pole, I'm going to need you not to split that pole. That's neither here nor there. But the stepping on the back, breaking on his back. No. Anyways, so for me, if my right hand itch, I'm getting money. Left hand itch, spending money. Both of my hands were itching, like, so I knew I was getting some money and a lot of money was coming, was leaving, but I just didn't know how it was going to leave. I was thinking rent or something like that, or the movers, storage, stuff like that. I wasn't thinking my car also was going to be a part of that. Doctor also was going to be a part of that. Yeah, I think did I think I've gotten my alternator done when I was in Florida. 
But anyway, so yeah, I gotta go. I'm going tomorrow to get this alternator done after I come from the doctor's office because I gotta go there early in the morning so you know they can do blood work and all that stuff. So I gotta fast at 12. So I'm already gonna be cranky. And I gotta get up. I gotta be there. My doctor's appointment is at eight. So I'm gonna have to get up 6.30. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have to get up hours before my time because I will be late for an eight o'clock appointment if I woke up at seven. This makes no sense, man. I just took it, I took it back to the speedy day or whatever they call. Speedy, speedy. And I just told him, I'll see them tomorrow because he don't have time for me now. Which he could have because it's only like 12 o'clock. But whatever, I'm, 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 I was ready to go home anyways. No need for me to be sitting up there that long. So yeah, when I was telling y'all, when it rains, it pours. Like, come on now. Even though I didn't have to pay for the battery, I just exchanged it, but I had to pay for them to, for the labor. 70, he said 75, but he only charged me 70. And then, yeah. So we are in for today. We are not going nowhere. I got food. And I gotta finish doing this shit. But I'm just so, my God. I'm actually about to go take a shower because I'm sweaty. <laughs> this is my room. Oh shit. Got my air mattress. If y'all remember my air mattress from the first how many months I was in here before. Um, I got all of this to sort through. Uh, some of this stuff I'm taking with me. Some of this stuff it just needs to either get thrown away or packed for me to take. But most of all of that, you know, I'm taking my laptop, my printer. Stuff I just gotta sort through. Um, oh, let's go look at the oops, hey, let's go look at the living room. So, this is oh my gosh, it sounds so empty in here. This is my posh marsh stuff, posh marsh, <laughs> posh mart stuff. That, yeah, y'all know that. Before they came, I broke, I broke, um, I broke something, some glass. It popped out my hand, but this is what I got left to go through. Oh, look how much clearer it starts to brighten up. But yeah, I changed all my light bulbs. That's why it's so yellow. But I'm just so upset. You know how much an alternator costs? And then for the labor, I'm for sure coming off at least $400. That's the least. Because I think an alternator is maybe 200 And then the labor for it. Let's see what my googly say. How much does the alternator cost on a 2012 Dodge Journey? $177.99 up to $623.99. So, 
I'm sure I'm probably going to pay the maybe 200 and something. <sighs> yeah. The alternative doesn't cost much between like, well, for mine, it's $219.99. That's what it says in auto, is all, mm, at AutoZone. So, $220. And then uh, tack on another $200 for labor. That's the only whistle I can do. Then we go ahead and start transferring money now. Okay, so I'm, I just want to say this. <laughs> now that I've cooled down and took a shower and all that good stuff and just wrapped my head around that whole nonsense I have to do. Um, when I was watching the movers uh, pack and unpack my stuff, I was just thinking to myself, when I seen... <sighs> The dude, <laughs> when he lifted my mattress, or just the stuff that I just, when, oh. I like to think I'm strong, you know, I like, I like to think that I can pick up some stuff and, you know, do some things. I, I like to think that, but when you see a man lift up the stuff that you was like struggling or, you know, I had to slide a lot of things into the living room because it was heavy. Them Ikea dressers, heavy. But to see a man just lift that up with ease, like, it's like, okay. <laughs> that's just a little bit of a turn on there. Just, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just to see that. I was like, oh my God, did you know how I struggled? Like, with my mattress, he just lifted that mug up and over his shoulder, I had to use the two straps. <laughs> I had to use the two straps that that came with uh the little kit thing that I had to lift it. <sighs> I'm huffing and puffing trying to make it to the living room. He just hoisted. I was like, you probably can pick me up, can't you? I didn't want to say that, but you know, I was thinking that in my head. You probably could. Um, but they were really nice men. Um I bought them some Gatorade and some water. Uh, Cause, you know, they need to hydrate too. They going up and down them stairs, and it's well, it really wasn't hot, hot like the sun is out. The wind is blowing, but it is blowing hot as <laughs> hot as wind. It's not blowing cold. It's blowing hot. So it's wind blowing, but it ain't helping. Um, so I, that's why I was trying to get them to come like early in the daytime so that they won't be here during the heat of the moment because walking up and down them stairs, that sun is blazed bright. It's, you know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, uh, I just want to say that before I forgot because I was thinking about that when I was in the shower, how uh, he was just lifting that stuff. Them Ikea dresses, girl, one dude. He took both of, well, he didn't take them both at the same time, but he just, I'm like, whew. Yeah, so anyways, um, let me put some clothes on. Not really, but uh, yeah, I'm about to take a little nap, eat and take a nap, and then I'll come back to y'all a little bit later on. Um. So I'm at the doctor's office right now. Okay. Look at this motherfucker thing. Oh look, I hoped out of it. <laughs> hey, what is up, Juice Crew? How are y'all doing on this Thursday? Thursday afternoon. Just getting back from the hospital. From the doctor. Okay. I don't know what that was. I was like, is this egg cooked all the way? And, man, I almost cussed out that front desk because I am not a morning person as it is. 
And then to have to do that little fasting. They over here playing with people and their money. The lady, when I went the first time, she only, um, she charged me. She was telling me, you know, I don't know how they charge for people paying out of pocket, but she was just saying that my first charge was going to be 150 Then my next was going to be 180 for my the visit for today. And I went in there, the lady was talking about, this is a different lady. Um, that I owe an outstanding balance of a two hundred and six dollars. <laughs> Where? I said because the last lady told me, and they asked me for my receipts and all this stuff like that. Yes, I have my receipts. Here you go. That's made me upset. I'm like shit. I could have just waited and went to my regular doctor. I don't like playing. I don't, whatever. I was just upset because, again, I'm not a morning person. And you play with my money. Period. Because <clears throat> then I was thinking, shit, and now I'm have to go and pay, you know, get this alternator done and all this stuff like that. I didn't get my alternator done because the battery light didn't come on. I went up there and I asked them um, um, about if I need to get it done, if the light ain't on, and you know if they can check it. He was like, if it ain't, if it's running good, the light didn't come on, um, then you probably don't need it right now, or you don't don't worry about paying, you know, getting your alternator done. Hmm. So that's a really, I don't have to pay that. Well, at least until, I don't know, I don't want to jinx myself. But at the moment, I don't need to get my alternator done. Amen. <laughs> hey, what is up, Juice Crew? This is later on in the day. It's 3 o'clock. I took a little nap. When y'all love some, it's hot, y'all. <laughs> it's hot. Um, but say this nonsense that, that just happened about the minutes The so I go, I check my voice messages uh, to see. You know, I've been getting a lot of calls, just calls, calls, and on top of calls from just everybody. Not from everybody, from just every state. California, Chicago, Florida, Washington, Georgia. It's like, what the hell? Right? So I called this number back. Or no, I listened to the voicemail. The voicemail says something like another threatening uh, debt collector talking about um, sending me to court about something or another. Right? So I called the number back to see what they're talking about because community coming how you say that community bank has a lot of affiliates uh like i say avenue lane bryant sephora ulta old navy um sally um tory all of these people are with this bank right so the lady she's gonna tell me she can't tell me what what is coming from, but I have two charges against me. A fraud charge. Uh, hold on. The first charge is an, a non-agreement or failure the failure of agreement or something like that. You know how when you sign that paper, you agree to pay and all that stuff. So that and then. Uh, when they tried to take it out of my bank because I don't have BBVA no more, I, it's you know it's another bank. BV switched over to PNC, and because they couldn't take money out, uh, so those are the two charges. So I'm asking her, okay, so who is this from? What company is this with? Is this Avenue or is this Lane Bryan? Who? Because I've already paid off everything. 
I've already paid off Avenue. I've already paid off both Blaine Bryan cards. I paid off Sephora and I paid off Old Navy. That's, I'll have nothing else but an Ulta card that I'm still using now, a, a Sally's card that I'm using now, and a Toric card that I'm using now. So what, what are you talking about? She's going to tell me that she can't tell me where, where it's coming from, but you want me to pay. I don't know what she wants me to pay because I didn't ask because you can't even tell me who it's from, let alone... Well, I'm not going to pay you for something I don't know. So then I asked, well, is there somebody that I can talk to that can tell me who is this, what is this coming from? No, they're going to tell you the same thing. So the same thing is what? I have two charges y'all trying to say about the card and then because they can't take the money out of my account because it's a, a different account or whatever. But you're not telling me anything. You're not giving me no information to be like, oh, okay, maybe I do owe, but I know I don't owe. I know I don't owe. I paid off everything. Everything. I know they say you shouldn't pay you shouldn't pay it off or let it fall off or whatever. You don't have to pay. You can dispute it and all this stuff like that. But I've paid off everything. Except for um paying on student loan, paying a little bit left on my car note, and that's it. I paid everything that was on my credit off. So what are you talking about? You can't give me no answers about nothing. And then they giving a, they giving, she's going to say, is your address yada, 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 Houston, Texas. I ain't stayed there in forever. <laughs> so it's like, what are you trying to scam me for, ma'am? Because I ain't paying for nothing. I ain't paying for nothing unless you tell me what I'm paying for. She couldn't pay, tell me nothing. Then she tried to loud talk of me and all this stuff like that. I'm like, you can do all that stuff you want to. I think they have prompts when people say stuff like, um, well, you you got the card in your name. You It ain't my fault you can't pay or some shit like that. I'm thinking, I just laughed at it when she said that. I was like, okay, but I did pay off everything. So what are you talking about? You just trying to find something. I, I don't even know. If you can't tell me what I need to pay, I'm not paying shit. So, okay, well, I'm going to just write that in. I don't care. Thank you. Do whatever it is that you need to do. Because I ain't paying for nothing if you, if you can't tell me. If your supervisor can't tell me what I'm paying on, you ain't getting no money from me. So, you can do and say whatever the fuck you want to do and say. But unless you tell me what I'm paying on, I ain't. That just made my head hurt so much. Just to think about what is it that I'm supposed to pay on, but I don't have I don't have anything to pay on. My credit is good. You know, it's like uh, And then to think that I didn't have to get my alternator done, I still have to get it done. I'm going tomorrow morning to get it done. <laughs> oh well I'm going to the gun range Tuesday uh, we went up to this gun um, gun store so I can look around I seen one I like it is called the it is called oh lord let's turn you around so I can see It's a SIG P36. No, what? A P365, <laughs> bitch, how the hell? 380 Magnum. Or a SIG P238. Either one of those two. So cute. I'm just gonna show y'all. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. So any two, any one of those two guns I was looking at, and um, the Gun Rage Tuesday is free, ladies free, 
all you have to do is pay for the ammo or something like that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go do that, do that Tuesday.